Hi, I'm here today to film an empties video, and I think it's been since about October since I filmed my last one, but I have this huge bag of stuff here that I need to go through and dispose of properly, so let's get right into it. A lot of these things I've used up this month just because I'm dropping everything. So cool. Just because I was doing a no-buy for the month of February, and I was using up products that I already had because I couldn't buy anything new. So anyway, let's get into it. The first thing I have are these Chic Quattro razors, and they're four blade razors, which I prefer. Um, I've bought these a lot. I'll buy them again. They're just, you know, they're razors. So they're good. The next thing I have is 70% rubbing alcohol, and I use alcohol to clean my makeup brushes. So I buy these pretty often. I need like a five gallon bucket of alcohol because <laughs> I clean my brushes with this once a week, so I go through it pretty quick. Maybe about three, every three weeks I buy some more alcohol, but it's cheap. So. Then I have these All May Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I've had these for a very long time, but since I was doing the no-buy, I had run out of face wipes and I needed something to get my makeup off. And they're just round pads that come in this little bin. The problem I have with these are they are very oily. Like when I use them, they leave an oily residue on my eyes and it gets inside my eyes. I will not be repurchasing these. I don't like them at all. The next thing I had was from Lush, and I had it a long time, but it was a sample of the Steam tab. And I used this uh, Thursday night, and it did nothing. The Steam tab, I wasn't impressed with it at all. So I'm glad it was just a sample and I didn't actually buy it. The next thing I have is the Tree Hut Shea Butter Body Butter Brazilian Nut. And I used that up this week, and I did repurchase another one. I repurchased these again and again. They're like $6 at Walmart. They're all natural. They make my dry skin feel amazing. So, yeah. And the next thing I have is Bare Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. And I had got this at Ulta quite a while ago, and it came with this and a face wash. They were like a try-me size. Um, I really like this. It really hydrates well, but for the price, I'm not going to buy the full-size one of these, so that was nice to try, though. The next thing I have is the Dream Angels Desire Body Mist from Victoria's Secret. Love, 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 love this scent, and I will repurchase it again. I really like these small bottles from Victoria's Secret. They're always near the register, and they're like 8 to $10, depending on what scent you buy. So you don't have to invest in a large bottle of something and then find out it doesn't really smell that great on you. So I like to buy these small bottles so I have something to try out. Then I have Prestige, my biggest lashes. I love the my blackest lashes. That's like my holy grail mascara. So I thought I'd try this one out. And I like this one just as much. The only difference is the brush wand is just a bit smaller than the other one. But other than that, um, it works just the same. So I like that. And I probably will repurchase this, but I have so many mascaras open right now that I'm going to use up those before I purchase any more. The next thing I have is the Dickinson Witch Hazel Toner. And I love this. I have went through bottle after bottle of this, and I will continue to buy about bottle after bottle of this because it is fantastic. I never have breakouts anymore. Well, I actually do have one because I was using some crazy moisturizer to get me through my no-buy. So that was my fault. It was a product issue, not a hormonal issue. So I um, will be buying this again and again. The next thing I have are makeup remover wipes. These are the Neutrogena night calming ones. These sting my eyes a little bit. I don't know what's in them that's different than the regular ones that I love, but I won't buy this purple package again because they just stung my eyes. Then I have the blue package, which are the regular ones. I absolutely love these. I have bought these so many times and I will continue to buy them again and again. They're holy grail makeup wipes. So yeah, love those. The next thing I have that I finished up was the Degree Clinical Protection Sheer Powder deodorant. I love this deodorant. Um, I'm not real 
particular about the scent. I like the romance one too. I think it's pure romance or something. So yeah, love this deodorant and will continue to buy it. The next thing I used up were these Royal 100 cotton rounds. They're a nice cotton round. Um, unless they fall apart when they get wet, like if I'm putting on my toner or I'm taking off my nail polish, I don't have a problem with any brand. These are an okay brand. So I buy them again too. The next thing I have is this L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser. And it used to have a scrubby in here. I use this with my Skin Sonic, which looks just like the Clarisonic, just a different brand. But um, I ran out of this during my no buy. So I need to buy another one. Um, I really like it, and I'll buy it again. I don't use this thing that comes in here, but I like the cleaner. And I'm sorry my dog is barking in the background. If you can hear him, he needs to go out. My husband needs to take him outside. I also used up a Bic Soleil Triple Blade Razor. I usually buy my razors when there's a coupon in the paper, and I just buy whatever brand the coupon's for, so I'm not particular about that. Um, just as long as they don't cut me and they shave my hair, I'm okay with it. The next thing I have is the Diamond Shine Volumizing Mousse. I love this mousse. It's from Sally's Beauty Supply. I don't think you can get it anywhere else, and it's a really nice mousse. Doesn't make your hair crunchy, tames down the flyaways. I love it. I only buy that when it's on sale, so I do need to get another bottle of that. Oh, this. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pear Eye Wand, and it comes with like a little thin, I did not use this, a little thin like liner, and I think the other side is an eyeshadow, which is in here, and here's the reason I do not like this, I'm getting rid of it. Look, I used this one time and it broke off and the product fell out. So, there, it was a Wet n Wild, and I love Wet n Wild. I love their eyeshadows, but this product didn't work for me. And I don't like this eyeliner thing. It's, like, real light, and it's kind of hard. So, I'm getting rid of that. It's not often I throw a product away that I have not really used, but that is not my friend. The next thing I have that's kind of yucky because it was in my shower is the L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Foaming Gel Cleanser. And this is a nice cleanser. I didn't like how it tasted. I mean, not that I was eating it or anything, but like when you're washing your face and it like gets in your mouth or on your lips and you can taste it, I just wasn't a fan. Um, I mean, it was a nice cleanser. Would I repurchase it? No, because I have other cleansers I like just as much. And this one was hard for me to get. I had to order this one online because I wanted to try it. I think I got it from Amazon, but I won't repurchase that. Then I have... The Herbal Essence Smoothing Mousse, and I really like this mousse too. It's another mousse. There's a hair. Another mousse I like a lot. Um, I would repurchase this one again. I do like the Diamond Shine better, but this one's good too. And I usually, at my house, have two different mousse on hand. Mousses? Not mousses. Two different types of mousse on hand because I like to switch on and off, depending on what I'm doing with my hair. And I know this is like a small little... I'll show you what it really looks like. It's these, but I used up a whole packet of them. They're the Reach Access Flossers. So this was all that I had left and I just kind of ripped the cardboard off to finish them out. But I obviously repurchased these, so I like those a lot. The strings on them are thinner and they, some of my teeth are like close together and they fit in. A lot of floss I find gets stuck and then I can't get them back out how these work is they're just like this if you've never seen it and they go on this little wand like this and it just snaps in there I need to do it with my right hand because I'm right handed why am I having problems just because I want to film it what is going on I don't know what I'm doing wrong <laughs> I don't know anyway it just snaps in there and you can flush your teeth with it and it's really, really easy to get your back teeth. I don't know why I'm having such a problem with this today. Oh, well. Anyway, I wanted to show that to you, but I was having issues. But you snap that in there, and you flash your teeth, and it's really easy. Usually. Next, I used up a 
Equate Nail Polish Remover. Uh, this is the brand I usually buy. I like the non-acetone. And this is inexpensive at Walmart, so I just buy these. Then, there's still a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I used up a, um, what is that brand? What is it? Let me look. Hold on. Because I have a moisturizer with the same brand. I used up the Cebu Beauty Face Wash Bar. I obviously don't have it because I used it. So I used that up. And then I used up a Yardley Soap. This is the one that I'm using right now. But I used up the oatmeal one. Um, I forgot to keep the package. So I kept the package for this one to show you. But this one is in my shower right now. And the other one was an oatmeal one that I used up. So I'll keep this one for my next MD's video because I probably will have used that up by then. And I also used up a soap that I bought off of Etsy. So it was in a clear cellophane wrapper from an Etsy seller. So I couldn't keep... How many times am I going to say so? I couldn't keep the packaging for that. I have... Remember, I have not done an Etsy's video since October or so. And I have all these. I obviously buy these again and again. Four of them, one of these. Gotta have the makeup removing wipes. I won't say anything else about that. Then, from Sephora, I had ordered... Um, excuse my hand there in the frame. Some things at Christmas time. And I ended up getting these samples. They're the Benefit Triple Performing Face Emulsion in the Sheer Oil-Free Facial Lotion. And the It's Potent Eye Cream. I loved both of these. They were awesome. I thought there was another one I used up, but I guess not. I thought it came with three things. It did. Whatever. It was a nighttime heavy moisturizer. I must have threw it away. Anyway, I used up all three. I loved all three. I would consider buying these, but I know that they're very expensive, so for right now I'm just going to pass, but I'll keep them in the back of my mind because I really do think they're fabulous creams. The next thing I used up was a sample from probably either Birchbox or Ipsy, and it's the Pure Lease non- um, non. <laughs> Normal, dry, sensitive, anti-aging, essential daily moisturizer. And I didn't like this. I don't know why, because I loved the lip product that I had from them. But this stung my face. And the weird part is, it only stung my face right here. Like on the tops of my cheeks, close to my eye. Um, so it was like painful, like wash it off painful. So I, I would never buy this. And it was probably just me. I'm not saying it was a terrible product. It was probably just my particular skin type. Then I used up the L'Oreal Balm Color Riche in 318 Heavenly Berry. Not often I use up a lip product. And I have just a teeny bit more. But the way this rolls up, I don't know if you can see it, but I can't put it on anymore because my lips hit the metal and it hurts. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but doesn't feel that great either. So that's done. And I like those and I would repurchase them. However, I have a lot of lip stuff. So again, I won't be repurchasing that anytime soon. Then I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, which is a nice mascara. And at the time that I purchased this, I really loved it. But since then, I have tried many more that I like just as much. So probably won't be repurchasing this. And I don't know if you can see on the wand, as it starts to dry out and get empty, the bristles on the wand start to clump together and it doesn't apply right anymore. So, I won't be buying that anytime soon. Then I have a sample that I got, I think, from my friend Deanna. The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is a very dry formula and I couldn't get it to really go on my eyes, like on my lit, on my lashes. I don't know if it was just the sample or the product is very dry, and I like a dry mascara. This was almost too dry, so I won't be repurchasing this. But not that I repurchased, not that I purchased it the first time, but I won't purchase this because I wasn't that impressed with it. So I'm glad I got a sample because I really, really wanted to try it. Um, then I'm getting rid of my old 
15, 20 year old eyelash curler from Lacrosse. It has seen better days. It doesn't, it's so loose now and flimsy and <sighs> this thing is worn out. So it has been retired. And I bought a new one since. Ooh, there's that. I was saving this for last because I want to talk about that. And we have a couple more things. And the first one is the Wet n Wild Nutty Eyeshadow. I realize there's a little tiny bit left, but it's getting really hard to get it out of the package. So I just am going to toss it because it's really, it's only 99 cents. And since I can't get it out with the brush because of the way it is, it's leaving. This is my favorite taupe shadow, and I love taupes. I mean, the bronze taupe from the L'Oreal Infallible, obviously. I have it on my lids today, and it is gorgeous. But this is really gorgeous, too. And here's a swatch of that. I love this shadow. And I'll continue to buy it. I've since bought it since I've ran out. Because it, it's a fabulous little 99 cent shadow. Then I have three perfume samples. The first one is Diane, which is a Diane Furstenberg or whatever her name is. This stuff stinks, and I mean stinks. It smells like, you know how like you have an old t-shirt and you put it away and you pull it out like two years later and it smells like disgusting? That's what this smells like. It is nasty stuff. Then I have Lady Gaga Fame, which I really liked this. I would actually purchase a full-size bottle of this. I liked it that much. I don't know if there's any left. There's not even a drop left in there that I could actually tell you what it smelled like, but it does smell good. The other one I got was the Justin Bieber perfume. And I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber, but I am a fan of this perfume. It smelled really good, so I liked that. And I would repurchase, probably would get a, like a rollerball of this because... No need to have a full size. And the last two things. The first one is the Marabella Permanent Eyeliner Pen that I got in an Ipsy bag. I like this eyeliner, but it wasn't like black black. It was actually the first felt tip liner I ever tried, which made me really happy to get it in my Ipsy bag and led me to the fact that I actually like felt tip liners a lot. So I've since repurchased felt tip liners, but I won't buy this one particularly just because I didn't think it was black enough. The last thing I want to talk about is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. My color is 220 Nude, and this is empty. When I first bought the Revlon Whip, the Color Stay Whipped, I absolutely despised it. It was like the worst foundation I ever tried, ever. I just couldn't get it to work. But I have since bought the Real Technique Expert Face Brush, and it was a true gift to this um, foundation because now it goes on fabulously and it's one that I wear every day to work. I love it and I've since repurchased this when months ago I thought that this was the worst foundation I ever tried and I'd never buy it again and now I love it. So sometimes just getting the right way to, uh, to figure out how to apply a foundation, one that you don't like, can really save it. So. That was a lot of empties. I probably should split these up a little more, um, do them more often because that was a lot to get through. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon. Bye.